Welcome back to our studios at Sacred Heart University. We have some guests joining us, our esteemed Class L state champion football team, the Daniel Hand Tigers. Congratulations, guys. Back Thank to back. So much. Tigers go back to back. Dave Mastriani uh, next to Noah, Chris Bartosik, and then Jack Flanagan and Julian Banerjee with us, the, the senior captains and uh, fellas, congratulations. When does it sink in that you've won back to back or has it not yet? Well, it really, it's been on our mind all year and after it happening Saturday, it's been really special. Yeah, I'd say like as soon as that final whistle blew, it was, like, it was yeah. pretty crazy. I knew I was out there with like once once all the seniors started getting put into the game, I knew that that we had that that game under under control and that we were able to finish that. Coach, you talked about how this was a different team than last year. Okay, so last year, not, not this past season, but the season before, you guys win the Class L state championship. But this year's team is brand new, you, and, and and you had some young guys returning. Did you have any idea you were going to be this good? Did you have any idea that you guys were going to be able to run the table in the in the way that you did it in such dominant fashion? No, I mean, and I, you know, I, I've, I've said that all year. I mean, the the way that we won games, I don't think anybody could predict it. <laughs> if, but not us, but any time that you're good, I don't know if if anybody could ever predict being as good as we were, as dominant as we were year in and uh, you know for the entire year. So you know, it was amazing to to be able to just sit back and watch some of the stuff they were able to do. How do you how do you keep that momentum going? How do you how do you keep that going week in week out? Do you do you forget about the previous game or just take what you you need to learn from that previous game and move on? Is being dominant important or just winning important? You know what I mean? Oh, that's a question for them. I think I think they could better answer it. I mean, it's well, then it's answer up to them. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, being dominant was yeah. pretty important to us last year. We won. We were twelve and one, and it felt like we didn't get a lot of respect because we didn't win. It was that Shelton game, right? Yeah, it was just, yeah, yeah, we didn't, yeah, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't like really game, show so. that we were as good as we were. And this year it was kind of, our motto was just go out and get on them early and get the JV kids at halftime. Yeah, Jack, um, and off of what Julian said, I, I also heard a few times people, you guys saying, they don't know. They don't know what's coming, right? The, yeah. The opponent, where, what was the basis of that? Well, we've been, we didn't get a respect a lot all year and they don't, people were not, they doubted us all, all year. And Who's we they? Just, all, all the teams we were playing, okay. and no one in particular, but the whole state yeah. of Connecticut doubted us, and we just want to come out and show us that, show the state that we're a legit team, and we're not going anywhere. So let me show you something, because if, if your play on the field didn't prove it, I think this video will prove it, that you guys were um, a legit team being crowned the champs and being handed that plaque and, and handling Maloney the way you did in that championship game. If this doesn't prove it, if this doesn't give you the respect, I'm not sure what will. <laughs> I mean, the way you guys were able to put up points on this, how, I, I, my math isn't so good, I forgot, I couldn't keep count of how many you put up in just the first <laughs> half alone. What was the number in the first 54. half? 54. 50 state I, record. See, I can only go to 50. Record. Yeah, state yeah. record, 54 points in the first half. Uh, so, so you accomplish that goal again, right? That that is, we're going to jump on them early. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of our one of the offensive line models this year was leave no doubt. Uh, you know, because you know in the off season we heard a lot of oh, you know, congratulations, kind of almost a like oh, well, you know, things worked out for you this year. And so our, our offensive line really took it upon themselves, you know, to take that attitude into every game of you know leave no doubt. When when we left the field, we wanted everybody to understand, you know, from the other team, from our fans, that that we were giving our best effort and that we could get after anybody. Uh, have you put the pads away yet? Yeah. Uh, right after the game. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, could we're you hesitant. break them out? Could we're you break them out? You know where he's we're, going. Yeah, I know where he's headed. Trust me, <laughs> we've been talking about Johnny it. Johnny and I have we joked about this probably every yeah. day. Have you really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. How about for Charity? We don't joke Jared about Jared it. He Jared. jokes about it, but <laughs> we're, we're serious. Yeah, they're serious. They're serious. We said we said we will come to Greenwich and play them. They don't have to come to us. They don't have to meet us halfway. We'll go there and play. So, so Coach talking about Coach Marinelli of Greenwich. You guys actually practice together at the beginning of the season, right? We do every relationship between the two teams absolutely but but and and just be honest you guys were looking at the polls all year long and you saw Darien number one and then you saw Greenwich number one was there some like hey what about Daniel Hand here guys uh yeah a little bit absolutely <laughs> yeah. I, I'd be lying to you if I said no yeah. I, you know but you know the the good part is I have a lot of guys on my staff who've been a, around for a long time and said you know control what you can control and enjoy it and and we did I, I mean like I said right at the end of the game you know, we'll take back-to-back -back state titles. We'll take 24-game win streak. We've done everything we could. You know, the, the poll's not in our control. Our, our output in the games was. And, 
you know, week in and week out, we, we produced. And, you know, like I said, we're about to get rings that say back-to-back state champs. So that's, for me, that's, that's good enough. And they're happy. The community's happy. That's all I can ask for. Yeah, the rings are very interesting. Uh, they're all wearing them today, but you'll get new ones. And you guys get a chance to, to you know, get input in, in the, into the design, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we get to design them this year. And we already got a couple of proofs, and they look pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. Uh, and what will be the difference real quick, if you can generalize? Um, they're going to be black this so year. That, yeah, we're going to get black rings this year, and they're going to say back-to-back, 24-game win streak. And luckily, they're going to say 13-0 and instead of 12-1. <laughs> uh, the perfect. The, yeah. the perfect. Um, uh, Chris, uh, when was there a, an aha moment for you or for, for, the, for the players when you realized we're, we can be as good as we hoped we could be? Well... That first Hill House game, I think, when we put up, I don't know how many points it was, but we put up a lot of touchdowns in that first half, and we went into the halftime like, wow, we're pretty good, and, we, and we're and we going to be able to do this all year, I hope. You know, it's interesting because Daniel Hand uh, had, had so many terrific years, back-to-back state championships in what was the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, and then, you know, prior to you taking over as head coach, the, the, the program for the standards in Madison right. kind of fell a little bit. Mm-hmm. Do you guys take some pride in knowing you've put hand back to where you guys at least know it should be? Well, obviously it didn't start this year because last year we won states yeah. and that was the But that's what I mean, you're yep. back to back to back. But yeah. um, that senior class last year brought in a ton of leadership all year and that translated because we're really good friends with them. So that translated to us three to becoming pretty good leaders ourselves for the entire team and making us hopefully I think the best team in our history. Yeah. So, so now you got this built, or did you guys want to say something? Yeah, we Go took ahead. it upon ourselves after our sophomore season to, we just said this was never happening again. We did everything we could to make it happen. And as you can see, it didn't happen. <laughs> well, so, I mean, and you guys just, the way you guys ran through opponents, it was, it was, it was fun to watch unless you were on the field you. lined <laughs> yeah. up against you. Dave, yeah. how, how, how long do you just enjoy? And then when do, do you get them back to work to, to keep the, you know the foundation strong and and maybe extend the winning streak uh we had you know we had our end of the year meeting yesterday got all the paperwork out there all the stuff we needed to the housekeeping stuff uh and and then after the holidays we'll be back at it i mean there's there's no rest for the weary johnny marinelli and i were talking today and he said you know I, i've never won one before what does this do for the off season does it make it longer or shorter when you win i said no it's, it's every bit as short as as it as it always is whether you won or lost it's you go back to work at the same time it's just a matter of did you get in the weight room for a couple of weeks before the holidays or didn't you know, you know we've had the good fortune of not having to be in the weight room before the holidays for the you know last year and this year well, i gotta ask you julian did you have this mustache all season long the wb mason well, style mustache because it's not, pretty darn cool not this exact mustache i had like <laughs> some i had a fu manchu going yeah i started with the full beard oh, then i had oh. fu manchu and then after the game i was like you know what <laughs> Something new, and I came came out of the bathroom. My mom just like screamed. Was like, <laughs> <laughs> she actually thought it was pretty cool, but now she's kind of getting uh, sick of it. What are you, about 27, 28? How old are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Raleigh Fingers. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's over, I think, in the, in the energy household. <laughs> I like it. Hey, guys, congratulations. A tremendous season. We're thrilled that you guys were able to come down and share some of those Thank moments with us. Thank you for coming, uh, coming down from Madison. And, and savor this. Back-to-back champions mm-hmm. for you guys. I know you got a young team coming. There'll be high expectations uh, next yes, year. Sir. So good luck yeah, with that. Yeah, nothing crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, no pressure. <laughs> we'll it's be right good. back with Mario at CT Sports <laughs> now.